let's talk about your new album, Blast from the Past. Uh, this is a kind of a, a best of album, but uh, as far as I understand, you have been working very hard with it. Yes, we've spent three, nearly three and a half months in our own studio to make to make it like this. <laughs> and um, well, at first we'd, we 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 thought about like we well. We play the old songs, we play it like we want them, but we know how to play them, and we're going to do this in two months, recording and mixing. <laughs> so that was a big mistake in the time schedule, because uh, when you do a new album with new songs, you also know what you want to play when you go to a studio. So that was a big mistake that we could do this like in a, in a shorter time. And... Then, of course, the old songs, we wanted to play them really good and better than the old versions. And we spent a lot of energy and enthusiasm in the work on this. And everybody really was into that to do it better. And not only better, but to do it a, a, a nice version out of it. You know. <clears throat> so we spent really a lot of time to re-record the the. The, uh, the songs from the first four albums. Does that mean you're not very pleased with uh, the first albums you did? Of course we are. But now we got the we, we got it was really fun for us that we got the chance to to make some changes in the arrangements or in the way of of groove or of sound from from the parts of the songs. So that was really interesting, and we we checked a lot of things out how we do that and how. <clears throat> And we got the chance to put more, like, to play the songs like we played them on stage. Mm -hmm. um, Kai Hansen is, is singing on uh, your uh, old songs now. Uh, Ralph Schieper was uh, the vocalist on your first albums. Uh, was that a bit of the point, to have uh, Kai's vocals on your old songs? Well, two reasons. Because, I mean... We wanted to, to, play, to make an album like that, How, how is Gamory playing all these songs now like like a sh like imagine we're doing a show with on play all these songs the best of songs that was one reason the other reason is that like most of the songs that kai wrote he already had his the vocal lines and the lyrics were written by him as well so and he on his demo versions at home he always uh sung the lyrics uh, and, and, and the vocal lines already. So the part of Ralph in the past was that he he just sings the same way that Kai, uh, the, the lyrics then how Kai did it, mm -hmm. with his voice, of course. And that was, uh, well, <clears throat> very often a problem that the, that the, the expression on the feeling in a singing was not like the same because he like he had to copy the way that then that that Kai meant it, so the way you listen to the songs now is more like it's meant to be with the vocals. I mean, okay. Okay. Um, do, do you feel that this is a best of album, or or did you focus more on re-recording the old songs so people could hear that? Well, the the songs are actually very good, even better than on the original albums. Mm-hmm. Well. At, Mainly, should if we want to do a best of album? That's why we like ask the fans all over the world uh, that they should send us like the the best three or four songs that they want to have on a best of album from each album. They should choose uh, three or four songs, and we had about seven hundred uh, emails, <laughs> <laughs> and the result. Is, is what you can hear on this album. So we, <coughs> it, it, the, all the songs that are on these two CDs are really chosen by the fans. Okay, so, so you didn't pick any of the songs yourselves? You, no, you, no, no, no. They're really voted. chosen by yeah. the fans. I mean, that's why I like everybody. It's like, there will all, always be some people who say, well, why is this song not on the best of album and this? And <laughs> sure. <laughs> Even myself, I'm... I'm very unhappy that some songs are not on the on the list. But <laughs> uh, you spent a lot of time um, recording and making the Power Plant album, and it turned out to be a great album. Uh, will you spend a long time on your next album? Mm -hmm. Because I mean, it's always the same. You know, 
with the gamma ray production, it's, we, we start very easy. Oh, let's make a drum sound, and we take time in in in. And we take our time because we 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 got our own studio. Yeah. Kai and me, we built this studio up all, to all over the years and make some. So we got really, really all the equipment we need to to make a good sound for a gamma ray. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's not all the equipment there you need for a warm pop production. <laughs> <laughs> but we got all got the, 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 the preamps and the real good mics for the drums to make this hard sound you know <laughs> so we we can spend as much time as we want in the studio but <laughs> the record company says if you're not finished <laughs> your album by this and that the, the date uh, you won't make it before the summer so it's always the same we start and then we have to hurry up at the end <laughs> okay uh so, there there have been a lot of lineup changes in in Gamma Ray. You've been there since uh, well after the first album, but um, for two last albums you have had the same lineup. Yeah, um, that. that's the first time uh, you've had the same lineup for for over more than two albums. Yeah. Um, will the same lineup uh, record your next album? Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. Unless nobody's gonna die. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's really, because, I mean, even the, that, I mean, Daniel, his drumming fitted perfectly into the Gamma Ray style. His straight, powerful drumming, was, I really like the way he plays drums, and I really like, it. We, we always, when we do rehearsings for, for, um, this, for studio works or for playing a tour, Daniel and me are all, always practicing besides the whole band rehearsing. To, to improve our uh, playing together, bass and drums. And, well, Henio's got a real different style in playing guitar than, than Kai. Yeah. So that's a real uh, uh, good thing because you got different styles. <clears throat> and now he's really... Now, the last two shows we made, I got really good feeling that this really fits together. So, And he's writing very good songs very melodic songs, everybody, Daniel as well. So that's the first time that you got four four musicians and four of them is writing songs that that are fitting on a Gamma Ray album. So Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good really good thing. <laughs> yeah. Well uh, until your next uh, album uh, we better focus on the Blast from the Past. Uh, would you like to to pick a couple of um, Gamma Ray classics from uh, your best of C D it contains twenty songs on two CDs actually? I really like the version of Dream Healer. The also tribute to the past is a really powerful version. <laughs> 